and Betana here on Watch On Channel. Today, finally, I can do the full review and reveal of this new Spinnaker Croft mid-size watch. The watch comes in this outer cardboard box. I actually think that's pretty cool. Spinnaker, they have been around for quite a few years, and I believe this is maybe upwards towards the 10th Spinnaker watch I'm reviewing. And I was very pleasantly surprised because the packaging is all new and much higher quality than the little blue cardboard boxes they used to come in. So that's nice. And here we have the watch. This is the brand new Spinnaker Croft midsize is what they call it because they slimmed down the dimensions. They made this Croft kind of 70s inspired dive watch smaller with this new watch. It's revealed today and on the 23rd of July, it's actually released. And just to disclose everything, I was sent this watch from Spinnaker. I get to keep the watch. So I just wanted to tell you guys this fact before we get into the full review. Also, if you're interested in any Spinnaker watches, including this Croft watch or any of their straps and other items they have for sale on the website, you can use the Check out code WATCHON15, then you'll get 15% discount and I will also get a little percentage so it will actually support the channel, but it's all up to you guys. So on to the Spinnaker Croft. This is one of four versions and I think this is the perfect alternative actually to the Seiko SKX009, which is out of production, which is out of sale now. So if you're interested in a really cool Pepsi dive watch, dive style watch, then you can definitely look into the Spinnaker Croft. So what they actually did with this watch was take it from 44 millimeters in diameter down to 40, a very nice th uh, thickness of 14 millimeters, but it wears slimmer, which you will see just in a few minutes. 20 millimeter lock width here, so you can easily find other strap options if you don't want to wear it on the bracelet. And then just 47 millimeters from lock tip to lock tip. Maybe compared to the Spinnaker Croft, the original, this is a mid-size but it's kind of strange to call a watch a mid-size watch as it's 40 millimeters in diameter. So this is a kind of classic dimensions with a lot of watches, especially dive watches. Inside we have the Seiko NH35A, and this, as you can see on your screen now, has proven to be very accurate. Between two and four seconds plus a day, that's quite amazing. I only have a little issue with the amplitude, which means that this watch will probably need to be serviced in three or four or five years, but that's no big problem because it's very easily serviceable movements, these Seiko NH35A movements. And you can of course see that we get an automatic movement. It's a 21,600 vibrations per hour movement. You get a date complication at three o'clock. And let's just unscrew the screw down crown, which has the Spinnaker logo. It has hacking, so you can stop the seconds to get a more precise setting of the time and you get manual winding and then you need to find the right threading and then screw back in the crown. I actually like the crown action quite a lot, but you need to just work a little with finding the right threading when you actually screw in the crown. You can see no crown guards. When we look at the dial, we get this really nice, as you can see, texture to the dial, which is both really nice to look at, but it's a really nice effect in strong lighting situations because compared to a glossy, more straightforward dial, you will actually have let less reflections on this watch, which will make it easier to read. You also see we get spinnaker below 12 o'clock, then we get automatic 500 feet compared to or equal to 150 meters of water resistance. I like the detail of these kind of cream colored off-white hour markings. And also the hands, which are these baton style hands, big fat hands filled with loom. I'll show you the loom, which is amazing just in a few seconds. And I really like the detail with the red printing with the 500 feet, 150 meters. It just gives this kind of, you know, with the old Rolex Submariner watches, this red writing on the dial looks great. And then of course you get the date window at three o'clock. And what I really, really appreciate that Spinnaker did with this Croft watch is to actually color match the date wheel so you don't get black printing on white, but white printing on black. 120 click, absolutely no play. It's a little stiff. And I must say the action, of course, 
is also a product of this watch being a 350 US dollar watch. If you want to use the code watch on 15, you can get this watch for 298 US dollars instead. And I think that's a nice price. So having a closer look at the Lume, you can see amazing Swiss Super Luminova. Looks amazing, really, really potent, really, really strong. And this is of course also a product of the hour markings and the hands being so big and filled with loom. I really, really appreciate the loom on this watch. So looking at the case, you get a nice brushing on the sides and on the top of the locks. And I really appreciate that when you talk about a dive watch below 300 US dollars, that they actually make this nice polishing on the edge of the case here. You get a solid case back. And here you can see it's sapphire crystal and it's of course stainless steel. You see the sapphire crystal is completely flat except for the magnification glass here to magnify the date. The bracelet is a typical oyster style bracelet with absolutely no thrills. It's completely brushed. So the bracelet is kind of boring, but it's very nice to wear and it was very easy to adjust even though these are push pins and not screws. So the clasp is milled metal. It's a simple fold over, but also double push button release. So it's very secure. It's kind of primitive. It looks kind of, it's definitely in the more uh, affordable range, but it's, it does its job very well. So you absolutely have no trouble or be afraid that this uh, clasp is going to give in. And then you get a very cheap looking dive watch extensions and three micro adjustments. It's perfect on my 18 centimeter wrist in circumference. Perfect size. And as I said before, you can see, although it's 14 millimeters thick, it wears much slimmer. It just sits very flat on the wrist, making this watch wear maybe more like a 12 millimeter watch instead of 14 millimeters. Of course, this watch isn't perfect. It has its little quirks. As I said before, I'm not totally satisfied with the threading on the crown when I'm actually pulling out the crown and need to thread it back in with the screw down crown here. It's a little hard to find the threading. It's not a big problem, but it's it's not perfect, which is of course also a testament to the price of this watch. You need to cut corners. Another thing I'm not super, super happy about is actually the way that they use the magnification glass here. I think it kind of looks like a wart on the watch. I would definitely have left it out because the date is very anonymous. It's very tastefully done. So you don't need this little small circular magnification glass here, Cyclops here. Spinnaker should look into upgrading the bracelets using screws instead of pins. And maybe they could also look into upgrading the clasps. It's, it's still on the cheaper side. It, it does its job. It's very nice to wear, but will definitely have preferred a little upgrade. But all in all, I think that below 300 US dollars, if you use the code watch on 15 when checking out on Spinnaker's website, this is a really nice choice. I hope you enjoyed the full review of the Spinnaker Croft. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and don't forget to share this video on the forums and on Facebook and other places. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.